Hey guys, what's really good? Pokey Guitars Jake here. Um, first of all, before I start this video, I really do care about people's opinions. Um, I do really care about their opinions um, on the subject. I have the like to like ratio most likely disabled when I upload this video, but it's not to um, hide anybody's opinions, it's to kind of not give an excuse for any sort of trolls that I've had in the past to get turned on by just liking my videos. So, because um, I've had trolls at one point and it's annoying. Anyways, um, I'd like to discuss that I have um, different opinions than the majority on this whole Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon topic for the Pokemon Direct of June 6th, 2017. I would like to express how I feel about this whole controversy of the, the, the Direct was shit, the things coming out this year are shit. First of all, like I want to say that I was a little doled out from the Pokemon Tournament DX um, trailer. I was kind of happy seeing that they that they spent so long on the trailer, considering that you know the Pokemon company did a very bad job on um, advertising and showing advertising and promoting the game on the Wii U. And so seeing that they're working so hard on this trailer it gives me high hopes. That they might actually do a lot of cool things. We're also having an invitational for Pokémon Tournament and inviting uh, competitive fighters, competitive fighting game players, like you know, all around to go and join the tournament. Um, there hasn't been a huge tournament since like Evo 2015, which is a disappointment that they didn't really. But it's like nobody was really playing the game because it was like, completely underhyped. Um, it was not being like advertised well, and it was also very hard the combos and stuff. They're a little the combos are a little easier um, than like Street Fighter in my opinion, but they're still the inputs are pretty difficult still. Um, but yeah, I think personally I might even get into Pokémon Tournament X or DX when I get the game and I get the Nintendo Switch. But I was a little I was happy to see that they're promoting it with a really good trailer. But it's just the trailer itself was so long and it's like I was. Old. I was like, I'm tired, I don't want to watch this, I, want... I got up at like 7.02 in the morning and like, I'm just watching this trailer of Pokemon Tournament. I'm like, is this all I woke up for? So, I'm going to show like maybe 5 seconds of um, Sun and Moon, uh, Sun, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon or something like, it's like a 10, 5 second, 5 second, 10 second, maybe 15 second trailer. Um, I personally am cool with it. I went into the like the Pokemon Direct not really knowing what to expect because Game Freak usually has a good way of throwing curveballs and usually they have a good way of like just doing the predictable thing. But you know, as of X and Y, I feel like Game Freak or even Black and White too. I feel like Game Freak's been a little harder to predict. So I didn't really know what I was going into. I just kind of went into it blindly. So I was pretty happy with what I saw. Um, and then the Generation Two Gold and Silver remakes. I'll tell you guys a little secret. All right. We got, we got remakes, dude. We don't need Diamond Pearl remakes. We got Virtual Console remakes, dude. Shh. Basically, I what I'm trying to say here. And so I feel like, technically, we got remakes. We got a Generation 2 on Virtual Console. Oh, but that's just a, a straight up port from the Game Boy game, dude, you fucking idiot. But yeah, you're right. But at the same time, how was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Those remakes were complete shit in my opinion. They made the game a lot easier, they made it way too easy, they changed up a lot of things that made it feel unoriginal, whereas Heart Gold Soul Silver did a really good job introducing new things by making it stay new and fresh, but also, you know, just Heart Gold Soul Silver were the best remakes um, of the best games, of course. Um, I'm plenty cool with what we got, honestly, I am. I'm plenty cool with what we got, so I'd like to say that. So yeah, basically, Hammer slammed, man. We uh, Hammer has been slammed. We technically got remakes. We got direct ports, dude. That's like better than having remakes, you know. Um, a really good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Daniel. I think his username is Kesmar. He uh, he actually gave me a story about how he felt about um, about like remakes and everything. He feels like remakes are kind of unnecessary at this point. We could just have personal consoles. Why just not have personal console? And plus, we could already play Diamond and Pearl on our freaking DSs, you know? The only issue I'd like to see one day is if they like they make a port for eShop because the 3DS obviously won't have a DS virtual console. Unlike the Wii U, how the Wii U is reverse compatible with the Wii and had a virtual console for the Wii. The Wii U, uh, the 3DS will not probably end up having that for the DS. But what we, I want to see is I want to see them port 
Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, uh, Black, White, Black 2, and White 2 to the 3DS um, on eShop. Not as a virtual console game, but as a downloadable game. So that way, um, we can play, we might be able to add online features, friend codes will work differently, they can add their own port to fit that console. Same thing with the Nintendo Switch. We very well end up seeing Pokemon games on the Nintendo Switch for like Generation 1 through 3, Virtual Console, and then of course Gen 4 and Gen 5 we could see um, as a Nintendo Switch port, but instead of having touchscreen for battling and things like that, you're obviously going to have a text box menu instead. They could do something like that. They can make a couple tweaks to the game's coding to work on a Nintendo Switch. So I just think in general it would be kind of cool. Um, and they were really cool to see. I think that it, as in terms of, in terms of in general, in terms of like what I saw from the trailer, I was pleased. I think they could have showed the Pokemon a little less of the Pokemon um, Tournament XD trailer, but our DX trailer. But I feel like I think it still was good. I think it was awesome. You know, I think it was really good. Uh, I think what they could have done with, um, you know, obviously with Sun and or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, was maybe it showed a little more unnecessary cutscenes. Shofu pointed out to me, which I didn't notice, I was thinking that the whole Mimikyu theme, the Togenomaru theme, and the Lycanroc theme were actually part of the story. Actually thinking about it, those would be confirmations on Z-moves, um, specifically for those Pokemon. Lycanroc Mente having like a Z -move, a potential Z-move for Acceleron? A because uh, basically Axel Rock would be base 40, which would be making the Z-Move for Axel Rock most likely be base 100, but base 100 priority stab, dude? Yeah, yeah, that. Mimikyu's, um, whatever that was, it's probably a Z-Move as well, looks really cool. Of course Mimikyu's already a good Pokemon, so do I feel it really needs it? No. Is it a popular Pokemon? Yes. Is it cool? Yes. Um, and then you have Togi and Maru doing something, I don't know. But I think that, personally, I think they did a pretty damn good job with that trailer. I think, I think, I think personally, even though it was like 15 seconds, they showed enough. But, honestly, we got remakes! I know you guys want Diamond Pearl remakes, majority, I understand, but we might still get it at one point, you know? We, we still have a little, well, a lot of time in this generation to sit there. They used to remake for generations every three or four years, now they're doing like one or two years. Um, regardless, I think I'm looking forward to this Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I want to see new Alolan forms. I want to see Alolan forms for bug types, rock types, um, water, grass. I think that's it, because thinking about it, they, that's four types, and I think there's 13 types total. So that being that said, they have Steel for Dugtrio and Sand Slash and Sand True. They have Ice for Vulpix, they have Fairy for Nine Tails. They have, Steel, of course, Ice for Sand True as well. Um, they have Dragon for Executor, they have a bunch of fucking dark ones. So we have Psychic for Raichu. So yeah, basically I'm trying to say, we have like, um, you know, all those other types. We also have uh, Ghost Fire. That counts as two types. Um, same thing with Nine Tails. Like that sound slash has, you know, ice as well. Um, but yeah, we have like we don't have ground. That's something else I thought about too. We don't have a ground type for a little inform. So it's something I thought about before, but then my battery, not my battery, but my phone data ran out. The room ran out. So got a cat meowing outside of my door. Hope you guys can hear that. He's sad because he's he's sick. <laughs> he's not sick. He just has an anxiety disorder that causes him a UTI, bladder infection. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, um, so I got all this, um, this, um, you know, I, I just have these opinions, right? I'm not trying to, like, change anybody's opinions, I want to make sure you guys understand it's freedom of the internet, it's like, we all have our opinions, the hammer slammed down, the hammer is slammed, we technically got remakes, and I'm pretty happy, and I'm really excited to see what kinds of things we'll be seeing in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. I'm gonna say right now that Lunala form looking a little crispy, dude. I do dislike Lunala's um, design, but the Necrozma form looking kind of nice. Kind of nice. I also want to bring up how I feel um, the Solgaleo and Lunala forms. I actually think, you know how when you fuse Zekrom with Reshi Ram, or not Zekrom with Reshi Ram, when you can fuse Zekrom or Kiro with each other, or Zekrom and Rush or Zekrom, or Reshiram and Kirim with each other. Zekrom, Kirim, Reshiram, Kirim. When you 
fuse them together, they, um, they're still Kyurem, but it's Black Kyurem, White Kyurem. I think the same thing is gonna be, it's gonna be the Krozma. I think the Pokemon on the covers are not Solgaleo, they're not Lunala, they're, um, they're actually the Krozma. That's how I think, that's how, what I'm thinking. Um, I'm also really excited, like, I'm really excited about Life Rock having a potential Z move, which what we could guess it would be, it would be, um, like, some sort of XL Rock priority, 100 base fucking priority stab rock move? That's insane, that's such good offensive. Might really buff Life Rock, um, as a Pokemon. I like running him on a Sash lead already, I think that's pretty fun, um, when I go on Shogun. I really hate, okay, I'm, I'm being honest, I really hate seeing all the Tapus and the Ultra Beast one around when I play online, so I'm not really, like, I'm already not that good of a competitive player, but I'm just saying, like, I have some knowledge on it, and I really don't like seeing all the Tapus, I don't like seeing all the Ultra Beasts, so I understand this whole, well, I'm already burned out of Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon sucks, it's not that bad, but it's still not really, it didn't, for me, I felt Generation 6 felt a lot, like, new, you know what I mean? The Sun and Moon doesn't really, Generation 7 doesn't really feel too new for me. Um, but I, I, you know, that's why it died quicker for me, obviously. Um, I do, I do really, I'm really excited. I'm actually keeping a positive mind. I don't mind that we don't have Diamond and Pearl remakes. A lot of people do. I personally don't mind, and we might get them in the next Generation 7 games, unless they do the old Black and White 2 thing, where they decide we're not remaking, um, any remakes. Which could happen. We already had Diamond Pearl on the DS. We played on the same console. I just don't have Wi-Fi. That sucks. You know, but at the same time, I'd rather play Diamond and Pearl with Diamond and Pearl's meta over Sun and Moon's meta. I don't like the Ultra Beast. I don't like the Tapus. I do like Tapu Koko and Tapu Fini. Kind of like Tapu Boo. I don't really like Tapu Fini. Or Tapu Fini? No, Tapu Lele. I think shuts down Dark, shuts down Psychic, or shuts down Priority. It's fucking disgusting. And you can't use status under any turn. Just makes a very, very restricted sort of play. And the only Ultra Beast that's bad is Guzzlord. Everything else is like OU except for most. It just recently got put on Suspect. And man, but like honestly though, like I hate seeing all these things, dude. I, I just miss like being able to hop on Showdown and use like a Pokemon like that would do better than they do. Okay, so I was gonna say, and my, of course, the phone rather than the Marie because I have a shitty ass phone. I was gonna say that I personally am the most excited for the Gen 2 Gold Silver remakes. I am really excited. I'm a little sad it's missing Crystal, but Crystal is my second game of the three. I like Gold the most. Yeah, but I'm very excited for Gold Silver remakes. I'm super hyped for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon as well. I really didn't feel too satisfied with the Alolan forms they added, so I would really like to see new Alolan forms for a lot of the new Pokemon, or a lot of the old Pokemon, obviously, but imagine if we got Alolan forms for, like, Gen 2, Gen 6 Pokemon as well. That would also be really awesome. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I'm looking forward to Gold Silver on the virtual console. I was thinking about hunting Shinies eventually on Stadium 2 with the Dodrio Game Boy, but fuck that. I'd rather just hunt comfortably on my 3DS system. So... I'm actually very excited. I am very happy to finally be able to have a gold version or silver version game file that's actually going to save, you know, instead of having to rely on that turtle battery and having to replace it where your game file is never going to be permanent. Um, but yeah, I am very excited. I'm super happy um, to, from the whole thing I saw. I know a lot of people are very disappointed and that's kind of an opinion basic. And look, again, like I said, I'm not trying to change people's opinions on this topic or this subject. You guys can you don't have to agree with me. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an open mind, make some people a little less blind to this. There still can be some really good things from these remakes that we didn't really get in Sun and Moon. I really felt Sun and Moon was missing a lot, so this might fulfill those things that were missing. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I did add probably some filter, but it's mainly because my room's kind of dim a little bit and you can't really see too well in it. Kind of do want to make things look a little brighter. Um, also, uh, yeah, I don't normally post content like this. I'm probably not going to be posting a new sort of video, so understand, yeah. Um, but I like to make this video uh, not super long, so I'm going to probably cut it here. But I want to say thanks you guys for watching. Uh, please like or dislike whatever you fuck you, you know, agree with me, you don't agree with me, or you like. You like the points I'm making, even if you don't agree with me, go ahead and like. If you don't like, and you don't disagree with me, go ahead and dislike, or if you just don't have really opinion. Um, if you just think I'm stupid or something, 
whatever, dude. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I appreciate it. You don't need a sub. I don't ask for subs. I just kind of let people to do whatever the fuck they want. So, yeah, um, uh, peace out, and I'm out, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and the fucking Gold and Silver remakes on top of, or, Gold and Silver, uh, ports on Virtual Console all along with Poke Tournament for, um, Nintendo Switch. Deuces.